For nearly 170 years, this bridge has served as a lot more than a shortcut for one Lancaster County community. Now, as News H Lancaster County reporter Caitlin Smith shows us, the search is on for the driver who damaged the top of it. An inconvenience for sure. It's my straight to it road, you know. And my groceries are over there. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame. The detour isn't long enough to spoil any of her food, but that's not the point. Did he go the whole way through then? He's too young to remember. Hold it. What the most recently named Bitzer's Mill Bridge really means to many in West Earl Township. You know, when I was younger, it used to be a thing if you drove through a covered bridge and you had your girlfriend with you, you gave her a kiss. I remember that. <laughs> and maybe if the tractor trailer driver who plowed through here and ripped off the roof Wednesday night knew the history and memories behind it, that person behind the wheel would come forward. Hi. Amos Hoover, who also relies on strong wood to stand, is now about as old as this bridge was when he was born. Well, it was more than an accident. He's 82. I think this fellow is crazy. It must have damaged his truck. And the bridge. But damage is something it's seen before. In 1850, floodwaters worse than Agnes washed it away. It was restored. Then, in 1962, the state highway system planned to demolish it. The community fought that and won. Even some of the graffiti has become a part of its history. This says eternity. Where will you spend it? Your choice, heaven or hell. History books will tell you that this was carved here prior to 1972 because they say this didn't deter someone from trying to burn the bridge down. It survived that too, just as it will survive this, adding to its story. I mean, it's kind of cool to have these kind of bridges. That one day, young LaVon Weaver will remember and be able to pass along. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. And PennDOT says it hopes to reopen the bridge next week. It will then work with historians on the proper way to permanently restore it.